Here's why you should never track your sleep. And this is coming from someone who tracked my sleep all the time when I was dealing with sleep apnea back in medical school. But there's three big reasons, and the last one's pretty shocking, of why a lot of people just shouldn't. So number one is this new emerging problem known as orthosomnia. Basically, it is when tracking your sleep and obsessing about it causes anxiety that then worsens your sleep. So some people are more prone to that. And honestly, it's probably better to just not track at all. Number two is having a knee jerk reaction to your data. A lot of times people have one bad night and then the next day they go from carnivore to vegan or vice versa, not good or productive. So if you're gonna do it, make sure you track nightly, but then look at the trends weekly. Number three, the most shocking is how inaccurate these are. Here's a study if you wanna look it up and they compared Aura Ring, Fitbit and Apple Watch versus gold standard sleep study. What they found, Oura Ring, actually pretty good. Fitbit, Apple Watch, mm. So when we look at one of the most important metrics, deep sleep, both of these vastly underestimate it, which causes problems, because then now you have more light sleep and more time asleep as well as overestimate it. Now here's the big problem from that. That's just one night of data. It could swing 20 minutes the other way the next night and you just go back and forth and you'd be all over the place. But even if you have perfect tracking, guess what? Like what are you gonna do in response to that data? So if you're having issues with breathing and sleep and need natural support, get your free instant apnea relief protocol. It's only for a few days. Go over to my profile, click the link there and you can grab it. Make sure it's there, get access, and then click and go ahead and get it.